Do religious beliefs influence women's sexuality? What is the importance of empathy and intimacy? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Yes, religious beliefs can influence women's sexuality. Religious norms and values can impact attitudes towards sexuality, abstinence, contraception, and other intimacy-related decisions. Empathy is crucial in intimacy as it facilitates mutual understanding, strengthens emotional connection, and contributes to a more satisfying relationship. It enables offering emotional support, resolving conflicts constructively, increasing sexual intimacy, and building trust in the partner. In summary, empathy is key to cultivating healthy and lasting relationships. Japanese sex culture, Japan has a unique sexual culture that includes practices such as kawaii, cute, and wabi-sabi, the beauty of imperfection. It is also known for its adult entertainment industry. Kegel, not just for women, Kegel exercises, involving the contraction and relaxation of pelvic floor muscles, are not exclusive to women. Men can also benefit from them to improve sexual health and control. Love and sex. Love and sex are closely related in the human experience. Emotional intimacy can significantly enhance sexual satisfaction, and sex can strengthen emotional bonds. The combination of love and sex can be a source of enrichment in relationships. Masturbation in the elderly. Masturbation knows no age limit. Older individuals can also enjoy self-exploration and sexual satisfaction throughout their lives. Multiple female orgasms. Some women experience multiple orgasms in a single sexual session. This may result from increased sensitivity and the ability to maintain sexual desire after the first orgasm. Multiple orgasms in women. Some women can experience multiple orgasms in a single sexual session. This can result from continuous stimulation and the ability to have several orgasms in a short period. Nipples are a common erogenous zone in both men and women. Some people experience high sensitivity in their nipples, which can lead to orgasm with proper stimulation. Orgasm control. Some men practice orgasm control, also known as the edging method, which involves intentionally delaying orgasm to prolong sexual pleasure before allowing themselves to climax. Orgasmic dysfunction. About 10% to 15% of women may experience difficulties reaching orgasm, known as anorgasmia. This can be due to psychological, physical, or a combination of factors. Pain mitigation. Gradual pressure application and the use of sex toys can help mitigate the initial pain associated with anal penetration. Paraphilias are patterns of atypical sexual attraction. Some examples include object fetishization, voyeurism, watching others have sex, and BDSM, bondage, discipline, domination, submission, sadism, and masochism. Paraphilias can be harmless as long as they are practiced consensually and safely. Personal style. How a man dresses and presents himself can be attractive to some women. Personal style can communicate creativity and self-expression. Polysexual relationships. Some individuals identify as polysexual, meaning they can feel sexual attraction to individuals of various genders, regardless of whether they identify as men, women, or any other gender identity. Post-orgasm syndrome. Some men may experience a feeling of tiredness or drowsiness immediately after orgasm, known as post-orgasm syndrome. This is believed to be due to the release of hormones such as prolactin. Preparation. Proper preparation, such as relaxation and the use of lubricants, can make the experience more enjoyable and comfortable. Prostate and P-spot. The P-spot is the male counterpart to the G-spot and is located in the prostate. Prostate stimulation can lead to intense orgasms, and some men enjoy this form of stimulation. Pseudosiasis, also known as psychological pregnancy, is a condition in which a person experiences pregnancy symptoms, such as abdominal weight gain and absence of menstruation, despite not being pregnant. This phenomenon is uncommon, but illustrates the mind's influence on the body. Refractory period. Most men experience a refractory period after orgasm, 
during which they cannot have another orgasm. The duration of this period varies from one man to another and tends to increase with age. Relationship between pornography and addiction. Pornography addiction is a debated topic in the scientific community. Some people may develop a dependence on excessive pornography consumption, but not all consumers become addicts. Right side and left side. Some research suggests that people have preferences for the right or left side during intercourse, although the reason behind these preferences remains a mystery. Sense of humor. A good sense of humor can be very attractive to many women. The ability to make someone laugh is often considered a desirable quality. Sex and cardiovascular health. Sex is a physical exercise that can benefit cardiovascular health. Some studies suggest that sexually active people may have a lower risk of heart disease. Sex and longevity, regular sexual activity, has been shown to be associated with a longer life. Endorphins released during orgasm can help reduce stress and strengthen the immune system. Sex and pregnancy, having sexual relations during pregnancy is generally safe, unless otherwise indicated by a doctor. In fact, many couples find that their sex life improves during this period. Sex education varies widely worldwide. Some countries have comprehensive sex education programs in schools, while in others, sex education is limited or non-existent. Sex in the Middle Ages. During the Middle Ages, sexuality was influenced by religious morality and a lack of sexual education. However, erotic manuals and sexual practices also existed. Sexual desire in menopause. Menopause can affect women's sexual desire due to hormonal changes. However, many women experience increased sexual freedom after menopause. Sexual therapy is a form of treatment that can help individuals overcome sexual issues, such as dysfunction, lack of desire, or intimacy-related concerns. Sexual therapists are trained to address a wide range of sexual problems. Sexuality in ancient Egypt, in ancient Egypt, Sexuality was considered a natural part of life and was reflected in Egyptian art and mythology. Sex was viewed as a divine act. Simulated orgasm. While not exclusive to women, some may simulate an orgasm for various reasons, such as satisfying their partner or ending sexual activity. Open communication and intimacy in a relationship can help prevent this. Studies on the clitoris. Despite the importance of the clitoris in female sexual response, there has been a lack of research on this organ compared to the penis. However, there has been an increased focus on clitoral research in recent years. Tantric sex is an ancient practice that focuses on spiritual connection and lasting pleasure. It involves techniques such as breathing, meditation, and body movements. The effect of stress on libido. Chronic stress can negatively impact libido. The release of stress hormones can reduce sexual desire. Finding ways to manage stress, such as meditation or exercise, can help improve libido. The influence of pornography on expectations. Pornography can influence sexual expectations. It's important to remember that pornography is a fictional representation of sexuality and should not be seen as a standard for real sexual life. The relationship between sex and stress. Although stress can decrease sexual desire in some people, sex can be a powerful stress reducer. The release of endorphins during sex can help alleviate stress and anxiety. Tickling and sex. Tickling can play an unusual role in sexual arousal. Some people find that stimulation of certain erogenous zones can induce both tickling and pleasure simultaneously. Vaginal orgasm versus clitoral orgasm. While clitoral stimulation is a common source of female orgasms, some women may experience vaginal orgasms from stimulation of the anterior vaginal wall, known as the G-spot. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.